command you'll hear is sit ready. Before this, Darren Aaron, I'd heard of dragon boat racing, never seen it in person, never tried it myself. So like everyone else out here tonight, I signed up, showed up, and let the folks with Amalia Racing handle the rest. And that's your ready position, ready to rock and roll. Lisa Ryman led the way. She coaches the U24 national team and is one of the founders of Malia Racing. By the end of the practice, you won't need anybody counting for you. One, two. Once we were on the boat, the first thing we learned was to paddle together. Ready, ready. Go, get that, don't start. My rowing partner sitting next to me is Monica Plouf. She's from Burlington. Since we had the front seat, we'd be the pacers. The rest of the boat followed our lead. So basically, if the group was out of sync, it was on us. I don't know if you do well with direction. <laughs> And here we go. Ready, ready. From there, we progressed, with Lisa giving us pointers along the way. The further it comes back behind your body, it starts going from this to this, which becomes negative. And at that point, you're not grabbing any more water. Your paddle is just going with the water. Unlike most sports where one team member can clearly stand out as the most talented, dragon boat racing is a total team effort. No one person sticks out for their skill. It's about being together, working as a unit to drive that boat forward. By the end of our lesson, we were very much more in sync. We even did a 200 meter race, which takes about a minute. Harder, two, three, four. And if you ask me, we smoked the imaginary competition. Oh, my arms are gonna hurt tomorrow. That was good. That was good.